We are here, and it's at the St. Helena Prayer Chapel. And pray as you pass. Pray as you pass. Prayer is essential. And if you've ever been on St. Helena, and you're coming down, you see the little church right here. The little chapel. Come and pray. So it's not that large. You're in a small church. Small structure that is. You go inside and pray. I'm not trying to cause any problems. I'm not trying to cause any problems. I am not trying to cause any problems right now. But some people are going to think I'm trying to cause a problem. I'm not trying to cause a problem. Now, some of you from Savannah, you know this. Y'all from Hilton Head, from Defusky, from Bluffton, y'all know. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know we don't call it St. Helena, and some of y'all call it St. Helena. Like, St. Helena, we know you ain't from here. You say St. Helena. But some people call it St. Helena. But those from Savannah, Hilton Head, Defusky, uh, Bluffton, y'all know what we call it. This is known as Frogmo. Frogmo. Now, some people on St. Helena are going to get mad, like Queen Quet. They're going to get mad. We call it Frogmo. This is Frogmo. They're going to say, no, Frogmo is one part of the island. No, this is Frog. The whole island, we call it Frogmo. So our cousins here on St. Helena, we say, oh, they're from Frogmo. That's right, Frogmo. Frogmo, but we say Frogmo. So, yes, I'm not trying to cause any problems right now with the people on St. Helena who want to disagree. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all know we call it Frogmo. But I have to throw something out to you, too. When we talk about the praise houses that are here on St. Helena, praise houses were a continuation of the African story, as I shared with y'all. And what happened, the praise houses, or excuse me, the concept of the praise houses was not just here in the United States. Also traveled across other areas of the Americas. What happened in Brazil, they had what they call imaradages, or societages. They are societies for women and for men. Uh, and I to have societies, societies also. Also, that's in Haiti. And places like Puerto Rico and Cuba, they have cabildos. There are also societies that were created by Africans, by our ancestors. And what I tell folks, see, we look at the connect, well, we look at Brazil and see how they kept Africa alive in Brazil. Then we go to Haiti, we go to Haiti and see how Africa was kept alive in Haiti. Then we go to Puerto Rico and also to Cuba and see how Africa remained alive with them there in the Spanish-speaking nations of the Caribbean and Central and South America. But the place that people tend to not think about any of that, how it applies, how Africa was kept alive, is in the United States. So the praise houses were the equivalents to the societies that were located in Brazil, Haiti, and Cuba, and in Puerto Rico, and other parts of Central and South America in the Caribbean. These societies are also the connection to Africa. Remain with us, remain with us. So our praise houses, as I shared with you all earlier, is a connection to communalism and how we function in Africa, it remained with us. So we had the same thing in the United States. We call them praise houses, just like you see in the Caribbean. So those experts don't make those connections at all, but you now got the connection. Right here on Frogmo. Frogmo.